The Master League is coming, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to prepare for it. And if you're as unprepared as I am, then stick around. Like we said guys, in this video we're going to show you exactly how to prepare for the Master League. It, for those of you that have been participating in Go Battle League and is super sick and tired of Giratina um, in the Ultra League. Get ready for more Giratina in the Master League. <laughs> Giratina's back again! Alright, because uh, Giratina is going to be a monster and as you guys can see here on this graphic. Uh, this is by PV Poke. Yeah, PV Poke himself. by PV Poke. If you guys haven't checked out his website or his Twitter or his Patreon, Go check it out because he deserves all the praise he can get. Thank you, PV Poke, for allowing us to use your creation here. One hundred percent, PV Poke, absolutely deserves the like everything. He literally deserves everything yeah. for everything he does for the PVP community. So make sure you guys go check him out. Now back to the graphic. Uh, what do we see here? It shows. I really like the fact on his graphic. It shows not just here's what's the best. It shows a lot of different things. We're gonna go yeah, into it so right now. Yeah, so he's got like the best picks. He's got counter picks. Mm -hmm. He's got raiders for anyone who uh, mm -hmm. just likes raiding and wants to use the raid Pokemon mm -hmm. for Master League. It's always an option. He's got Pokemon you should leave on the bench, and of course some example some teams. Some example teams. The but, example uh, teams is what I think is very very huge, and I really really like the fact that he added this time the raiders roster. Yeah, that was a I good really idea, like because I'm sure people are going to be curious about that, right? Exactly. So let's take a look real quick on the, prim uh, the premier picks. Mm -hmm. We got Dialga in number one. Yeah. Dialga being a steel dragon type. That's a really good typing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely resisting a lot. Um, and then also being super, super tanky and having that super deadly fast move dragon breath dragon breath no matter what it is if it's on a dragon it's killing it right <laughs> exactly and then it also is like an interesting move set with iron head which is it going to be uh stat damage yeah iron head is, is a pretty good move is dragon and what counters dragon berry yeah Togekiss, which is going to be later down that list, uh, but he has an answer. Yeah, I wasn't sure where you're going with that. <laughs> I was going to be like, Dialga's not fairy, what are you talking about? Uh, but yeah, it's the only dragon that could has a resistance to mm -hmm. fairy. And he has an answer, right? Mm -hmm. And literally, Iron Head could pretty much one-shot a Togekiss. Yeah. Right? So Dialga being super, super tanky, also being part steel, he's only going to take neutral damage from Charm. Yeah. Right, which is again still gonna be heavy hitting, but you still have an answer, and you, at least it's a dragon that resists. Yeah, it's crazy. The charm. Yeah. Um, of course, we got both the Giratinas here mm -hmm. still, which people must be getting sick of Giratina. I'm getting a little sick of Giratina. Yeah, me too. The walkie walkie Giratina is so tanky, and then when the flyy fly Giratina comes out, you gotta watch out for the stupid Shadow Ball, that stupid <laughs> ominous wind. I hate it. Uh, I the thing about Giratina is that he's such a tank. Right? Like it's such a tank and then has these moves that are possibly like able like for example ancient power. the ancient power. Like if you get the boost with the ancient power, your Giratina is literally unstoppable. Yeah. Right? Especially you if you don't have a Togekiss with a shield, right? And you're done. I can't tell you how many matches exist where you're gonna win. Mm-hmm. Giratina gets the boost. And it's all over and for you. Over. Literally all over for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened way too many times in our Go Battle League matches on uh, Twitch. So make sure you guys, by the way, if you're not following us on Twitch, make sure you do so. Check us out on Twitch. That's where all the real battles go down. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then what else we have here? We have uh, uh, we Togekiss, which yes. is also coming back from Ultra League. Mm -hmm. So I guess you guys have to kind of make that decision if you want to keep your Ultra League Giratina Togekisses mm -hmm. or if you want to upgrade them to um, Master League. I, I would right now I have the uh, walkie walkie Giratina 100% as my Ultra League one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it up to Master League. Okay, because that's, that's a that's 100% IV. Yeah. So that makes sense because then you can take take that 100% IV one, bring it to Masters League, and then make another one for when Ultra comes back around. Yeah. Again. And speaking of IVs, I mean, yes. if you guys are curious about IVs, 100%. Literally, it's you need Hundo. The higher the IV, the yeah. better. Simple as this that. Is not, no more like low defense or high, low attack. Yeah, low high attack, defense, high, high defense. defense. Yeah. You just want high everything. Want exactly. 100%. Because it is Masters League, Master League is basically saying sky's the limit. Whatever CP it is, you can use. There's no limit to it, which means you want the best possible IV for that specific Pokemon. Yeah. Um, okay, so we Tokus. got Tokus Charm. Eating the obviously the dragons, mm -hmm. uh, going down to obviously the steels, which I feel like Tokus might have a worse time here because there are more steels in Master League meta. Right. Ultra League didn't have too many steel types. <laughs> well, you had you still had the Melmetal and you had the Registeel. 
Yeah. Right now the you're gonna have Steel. Dialga. Dialga is replacing Reggie Steel. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. And Melmetal yeah. now has a better time to shine because Melmetal is the Reggie Steel of the all the master yeah like melmetal is doing pretty good it's beating dialga even though it's also a steel type mm -hmm. you know what i mean i guess because it's resisting the dragon breath right uh beating the other dragons it's gonna go down to ground and fighting which yes i mean swampert machamp ground on mm -hmm. i don't see these being too relevant. too too relevant at least in the early meta right who knows later on what's gonna yeah. happen you're gonna bring some some spice picks yeah right i think if you want to beat the meta meta melmetal could do pretty good right? absolutely 100 and then uh, we're gonna go to the next pokemon swampert uh swampert being one of the only um starter types to actually be here yeah right does it, when does again. it max out us do you know do you have a maxed uh, out one? i do not have a maxed out one right. I, I have a 100 percent iv one right here oh okay but i guess we're into breaking territory but it's not maxed yet um but it will be for when master leagues come uh comes out um and then we also have what else do we have uh we have snorlax uh, no, 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 we're at uh, uh, Mewtwo now. Mewtwo! Let's see it. There we go. We're having our first appearance of our regular Mewtwo, not armored Mewtwo. Yeah. Regular Mewtwo. Now, regular Mewtwo is going to be running Psycho Cut because that's the fastest energy gain move. Yeah. Right? And now, Charge moves, it can e be either Legacy move, which is going to be Shadow Side Ball. Strike and Shadow Ball. Yep. And, sh and Side Strike. And then also, you can pick between Focus Blast and Ice Beam. Yeah. I can see, I can see those. Th th kind of a hard choice. I kind of like Ice Beam. If, yeah, but if you're picking that, then you're losing your defense against the Steel types, right? Right. Especially... Maybe Shadow Ball. Yeah, yeah right. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball anything. But not all of them are <laughs> Psychic and Steel, like... Uh, right. Like, like Metagross is. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Um, but I, I would probably go Shadow Ball instead of Side yeah. Strike. Yeah, I kind of like Shadow Ball. I've never used Side Strike before, but I know Shadow Ball is a, nothing to be reckoned with, what, right? So you're thinking Shadow Ball Ice Beam? I'm thinking Shadow Ball Ice Beam. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, that's my personal opinion. Personal opinion. Uh, also because I don't have a side strike Mewtwo. As of yet. I don't have either of them. Yeah. As of yet. I don't have a side I don't have side strike or shadow ball. <laughs> but take a look here. We also have another, a new dragon as a competitor. We have Dragonite. Dragonite. He was doing right. decent in uh, Ultra League, but yeah. I think it's going to be doing even better in Master League, right? Yeah. He's very, he's very, very uh, frail in the Ultra League. Yeah. But now he has his time to shine, knowing at the fact that his legacy moves have come back, right? That's Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw. Yeah. It seems like our priority moves are Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw, mm -hmm. and the other moves. You were thinking Outrage, right? Over Draco Meteor? Uh, you can go Draco Meteor, but I think Draco Meteor now has a debuff, yeah. right? It's super, super, like, literally it one-shots anything, right? But the thing is, you do get that debuff, right? While I still feel like Outrage pretty much knocks out almost anything as well. I feel like Outrage is going to be enough for you to knock it out, right? I think so as well, and plus you don't have that debuff. But then again, we, haven't had, we don't have we don't too much experience with Master League. Maybe an Outrage isn't strong enough. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows, right? Well, we might get two Dragonites ready. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, we ha have Snorlax returning again from the Ultra League. Lick Body Slam mm -hmm. Earthquake, which is great because Lick doing super effective damage on the Giratinas, mm -hmm. taking down Giratinas. Mm -hmm. And then the ground move, taking down the uh, Dialga, Dialga the, mm -hmm. the Steel types. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, and Body Slam, right? Just, yeah. <laughs> it's Body Slam, spam, right? And I got a lucky Snorlax, so it's good to be on my Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, so what else do we got here? Uh, well, next to we're on counter to the, the meta. The counter picks, yeah. Which Heat Ran, I never wow. saw. I never thought Heat Ran would see the light of day in PvP, but here he is. Heat Ran, Fire Spin, Flame yep. Forward, Iron Head. Which, now that I'm re analyzing it, that's mm -hmm. a good moveset. It's a pretty good moveset. Um, fire Spin to take down the Steels. Mm -hmm. It's going to be do neutral damage to Dialga still because it's right. Again. Right. But, but Dialga's not doing anything either to Heat Ran. Yes. So yes. I think that's why you can out tank him as well. Yeah. Um, and then he also has Iron Head to be able to take out the Tokus. Yeah. So it's going to get countered by the other ground types and water types, though. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Which it's Fire Steel, right? Yeah. It's really good type pick. Like, it's not taking four times damage to anything except ground. Right. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Right? Uh, um, Rhyperior. Rhyperior. Which everyone should have. By right now. Community Day. Come on, guys. You should yep. have Master League Rhyperior. Yeah. You should at least have, like, a raid one ready. So you probably could just convert that into your, like, your Master League one. <laughs> your highest IV Rhyperior. Make sure you got you evolve it on Community Day. Uh, I hope you did. Um, it's but, doing good. Taking down Dialga. Mm -hmm. uh, even though Rock Record is not really helping that much, the Mud Slap really helps it take down the Steel types. Exactly. But you do really have to be careful going up against... Um, 
Swampert, Kyogre, Machamp, etc. Yeah, you don't right? get you get hard countered like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, and last but not least on our uh, countering the meta picks. I think Gyarados is like, it's a decent budget pick too because you mm -hmm. get a high CP magic card. Mm -hmm. Like people might have a-, a They must have a high CP card magic card. Yeah, and uh, 10,000 for the second move. It's not bad. And then if you could manage to get it lucky somehow. And it's been out since day one. It's been out for a while. Since Pokemon Go has ever been, like since it's been released, right? So if you, you probably have a high, high chance of having a really good IV on this Pokemon. Yeah. Right, uh, and he's gonna be running Dragon Breath Crunch Outrage. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, again, really good move set. You have that that dark move for the Giratinas. You also have Outrage for basically everything. Yeah, um, and you have that really hard hitting fast move, um, Dragon Breath. Mm -hmm. Right, be careful. It's a little frail though. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this next section is the Raiders roster, which yes. is Pokemon that you probably have already ready on your raiding team. So if you want to go ahead and use these for your Master League Pokemon, you don't mm -hmm. want to spend any money, you could just recycle Pokemon. Absolutely. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> We're trying to save this planet. Those people who don't do PvP and they say, I only use Pokemon for raiding, this is for you. Yeah. Right? Um, again, the champ, right? Champ. Huge, 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 huge raiding Yeah, Pokemon. taking down the steel Pokemon mm -hmm. on this list too. Going to go down to fairies and ghosts, the, mm -hmm. the Togekins and Giratina. But still holding its own. Yep. Uh, Smackdown Tyranitar. Of course. Um, although I would you right, run Bite on it, no? Maybe, it's your choice. Your choice, right? Bite or Smackdown. If you don't have the Legacy and you have a maxed out Tyranitar, I think Bite would do pretty well too. Bite would do really well. Bite would take down the Ghost even better. Giratina, which you're gonna see a lot of. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then we also have Metagross. Metagross. A lot of these Pokemon are community, community day. day. Yeah, right? which is so a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you just want to like dabble into to Master League, mm -hmm. these, this is the list you want to look at and <laughs> use these Pokemon. Mamoswine, also community day. Absolutely. Yeah. Powder Snow, Avalanche, Bulldoze is going to do really, really well against um, like the flying types. Going to take down Dragonite in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, uh, also the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, you just got to be careful because he is part ground. Yeah. Right? You have so. to be careful for those. Kyogres, Metagross, sorry, not Metagross, uh, Swamperts, and Machamps. Yeah. Um, now we're going to those legendaries. Yeah, which I know a lot of people have Kyogre on the team. Yes. That's like a hardcore water rating Pokemon. Probably the mm -hmm. best water. It is the best, there. yeah. Yeah. Waterfall, Surf, Blizzard. Probably already have those moves, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Kyogre. Kyogre's a good choice. Taking down Swampert. That's that's huge. It's a water type that's taking down the other water types. Yeah, it is right? losing to the dragons though because it can't do too much. Although Blizzard, it all you depends. Could, you can land the Blizzard. You can land the Blizzard. It's gonna hurt. You got this. Yeah, <laughs> that's that, that's a little uh, uh, baity, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Go charge up to the Blizzard. Go for the surf. And I do really think that Kyogre didn't really have much play prior to him being added surf to his move set. Yeah. Right. Uh, before it was like Hydro Pump Blizzard, and it just doesn't really make it too viable. Yeah. Uh, now adding the surf as a, sh a baiting shield option, but also getting to those uh, those charge moves quicker because you do have Waterfall as a fast move. It's really not going to get to those charge moves yeah. really quick. Um, and last on the uh, Raiders team, we got Groudon, mm -hmm. which is going to be running Fire Blast. So I hope we get to see some spicy Fire, fire Blast. In I this see meta. some people that are not <laughs> going to run Fire Blast. I see some people that are going to be running the Mud Shot, Earthquake, and Solar Beam yeah. option. Unfortunately, it's going to get walled by like something that's just Dragon mm -hmm. and Flying. Yep. Dragonite, like you can't do anything on Dragonite. Yeah. Dragonite's going to be resisting the Mud Shot, the Earthquake, and the Fire Blast. Yeah. But, you know, going against the Steels. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Didn't get well. Right? I think uh, Solar Beam might be pretty cool. Yes. Solar Beam with Kyogre. And Hell if you're yeah. tempted, <laughs> PV Pokemons, to uh, show you guys that if you're tempted to use these Pokemon, these don't are it. not viable. Just don't do leave it. Them, leave them. <laughs> Slacking. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> when a Pokemon is laying like that, it's probably not going to be viable. Don't do it. So. Right? Again, we have Gengar, uh, Rampardos, Moltres, Salamence, and Rayquaza. Now, Rayquaza is a huge raid Pokemon. Uh, killer just does the most biggest damage output, but he's super, super frail. Yeah. So, super frail, not that good for PvP, so don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, we got the example teams. Mm -hmm. And um, some teams here are pretty legit. Yeah. Very expensive. Expensive. <laughs> um, so, what we got? Tokus, Dalga, and Giratina. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kyogre, Dalga, and uh, Dragonite. Yeah, these Double are definitely Dragon. teams that, like, if you want to just power up three, mm -hmm. these are going to be the meta. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, Swamper, Tokus, Dalga. That's a wicked team. Mm -hmm. Wicked team. That one's, that one's not too bad because you might have Ultra League ready. Mm -hmm. You just need the Dialga to power up the yeah, Dialga. Yeah. Uh, Melmetal, 
uh, Giratina Dragonite. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of Dragonite. Yeah. That's pretty huge. I don't have one ready. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Right. Can we take a look at that last team, though? That last team over there. Giratina, Mewtwo, Snorlax. Well, I, yeah, but before we get to that, this team, Dragonite, Metagross, Rhyperior, all community day Pokemon. All community day Pokemon. So if you want to raise, if you want to raise a team that's mm -hmm. balanced mm -hmm. and you don't want to spend a lot, Go with this one. Go with, <laughs> go with this one. Yeah, but, but take a look at no, seriously though. Take a look at that last okay, team. Though. Okay, okay. God. Giratina running Shadow Sneak, Mewtwo running uh, Psycho Cut, and Snorlax running Lick. There's a lot of Psychic Ghost things going on here. Well, Psychic and Ghost are doing a lot of neutral damage throughout mm -hmm. the board, except the Psychic on the Steals. That's right. a little. Oh. I think it's their <laughs> second moves that's adding a lot of huge like yeah threats to Mewtwo this. Mewtwo would have what against Ice Beam? Giratina. I mean, sorry, it's against Dialga. Right. You have to go on Focus Blast. If you, I think Focus Blast would be better on that team. Well, right? that's why you have Snorlax with Earthquake. Yeah. Right? And it all really depends. Because, again, a Shadow Ball from both Mewtwo and Giratina is going to hurt. Yeah. Hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and, well, again, this is pretty much what you're looking into. Again, a lot of Giratina. Yeah. Why don't we just quickly show them what we have ready in? <laughs> <laughs> See the comparison here. Yo, I got a Magneton. Yes, a Magneton. <laughs> and I was like, um, I mean, this was like a couple days ago. I was, I was like looking at Magneton, and I'm like, why the hell can't I evolve this? <laughs> like, went to the Patreon channel. Like, guys, am I missing something here? I completely forgot. You need the stupid metal lure. Yeah, next you need year. the metal lure to evolve it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> God. And here's my Master League Mewtwo that does not have Shadow Ball or, or Side strike, strike, which is completely not viable. But I, will, I, they, they, I could be spicy. Mm -hmm. well, okay, what if they first use Dialga? I want to go Focus Blast. Right. And then they bring in the Dragon I want to go Ice Beam. And then who's laughing now? Okay. I have defense against everything. Whatever you say. The Elemental Master. All right, Whatever what do you, you say. What do you got, you stupid um, team? I got some stuff ready. Uh, some stuff that don't have second moves, but I have Mewtwo ready, Kyogre ready. I uh, still need to get Dialga with the second move. Uh, Groudon's ready, Tyranitar's ready, Metagross. I still need to get another one of these. Dragon, Giratina, Gyarados, Togekiss. Okay, and then the rest I don't have ready. I'm gonna have to invest easy, easy about one point something, 1.2 million. Stop completing. Look how many you have ready already. Okay, okay, still, I still need to invest another 1.7 million, and I don't have the dust to do as you guys can see right there. This boy's sitting here like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get enough resources. I'm like, you have 10 Master League team <laughs> Pokemon ready already. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys want to see when we're going to actually finish our preparation for uh, Master League, make sure you guys to check us out on Twitch. That's where also where we're going to be doing all our Gold Battle League battles. If you guys want to see some real battles, that is where to see it. Um, and, of course, uh, make sure to subscribe for more PvP, Self Arena, and Gold Battle League content. And we'll see you guys on the next one.